By popular demand, we have the Steel Series Sensei, which is the replacement for the Zai, both of which are cruel jokes for gamers who have a bit of a lisp, like myself. All right, so let's open up this bad boy and take out the mouse. We'll find a braided cord. We find a bag of do not eat. And what else do we have? Oh, oh, some documentation. All right, all right. And then we've got the mouse itself. So it is the replacement for the Zai, as I mentioned before. So what makes the Sensei special compared to the Zai? Well, I will get into that in a moment. Let's have a look at what's included first. This is a quick start guide. Man, that's a thick quick start guide. Look at that. It's in a bunch of different languages because SteelSeries does sell worldwide, so that's one reason why they might do that. Got some features, got some firmware update instructions on most menu systems. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll have to go through that a little bit when we're looking at the mouse itself. And then we have a SteelSeries catalog, which includes a bunch of stuff, including, as I saw on the back, some stuff that's not even out yet. Their Diablo 3 stuff, which is coming and looks really cool. Okay, so the Sensei itself, it's got some... Uh, we didn't really look at the box much. We've got a couple of professional gamer testimonials. One from Patrick Karn Sat. Okay, he's the Swedish uh, Swedish national team captain. And then we've also got Grubby on here, who's a Warcraft 3 guru. All right. Finally, we've got okay Steel Series. What they have to say for themselves. So. Ambidextrous shape and comfortable grip coating. I can vouch for that because the grip is actually, and the shape is actually the same as the Zai, which preceded it, okay? Um, it has a 32-bit ARM processor on board, which makes it, according to SteelSeries, the most customizable gaming mouse ever built. You can enable advanced on, okay, they've enabled advanced, advanced on mouse calculations. It allows unprecedented personal setups and millisecond response times. It was born for tournament victory and built to help you win. Okay, what else we got here in terms of the overall feature set? So ergonomic, yes, yes. Uh, they claim it is optimized for all types, palm, claw, and fingertip grip. Okay. No, palm claw and swipe. Actually, swipe I'm not familiar with. So if anyone is a YouTuber out there who wants to comment on the video and link me to what swipe grip is, I would be very much obliged. All right, it has programmable illumination, 16.8 million color options. That is enabled on your mouse wheel here. On your, uh, okay, on the Zai, this was the DPI toggle, but I don't know what it does on the Sensei. And then finally, on the Steel Series logo at the back, you can change those to whatever color you want. Instant effortless setup via the built in LCD on the bottom, so you can have up to five gaming profiles as well as Steel Series Exact Tech Precision settings, which I'm going to talk about a little bit after because that is one of the reasons that Steel Series is still my preferred mouse of choice. Okay, mouse of choice or preferred mouse, you can't really say both. But I have an Akari laser on my desk at home, and I love it. And it is because of the SteelSeries software. LCD supports user personalized bitmaps. So actually, this is kind of cool. Check this out. You can actually put on little like logos and stuff down there. That's something that I don't believe was enabled on my Ikari laser. So there you go. They've updated that particular feature. And you can double your mouse speed with DCPI from 5700 to 11.4 thousand CPI. Fascinating, okay. Supported by SteelSeries engine technology, offering operation configuration, customization, and advanced macros across SteelSeries peripherals. I'll also let you guys have a look at the overall specs here. So there's your counts per inch, which is SteelSeries, what they claim is a, is a more accurate way of measuring compared to DPI, which is what everyone else uses, which is dots per inch. Okay, one of the other cool things that uh, about the CPI concept itself from SteelSeries is that they believe you should have the utmost control and you can actually adjust your counts per inch all the way from one, which would be just phenomenally slow, up to 5,700 in one increment. So you see a lot of mice that offer you 600, 800, 1,000 DPI settings, and those are all preset, you can't really alter them. Well, SteelSeries actually allows you to adjust in increments of one absolutely whatever you desire. So let's take some closer looks at the mouse itself. You got your forward and your back buttons here for your right-handed people, and then you've got your forward and back buttons here for your left-handed people. So it is truly ambidextrous. Remember too though, if you're right-handed, you can also reach these buttons with your pinky or with your ring finger if you want to go ahead and use those for macros or, you know, copy, paste, or, you know, in-game functions, whatever the case may be. Finally up here, you've got what is also a programmable button, but I believe by default, it switches the CPI. You got your mouse wheel and you have your left and your right 
clicks. On the bottom you see your SteelSeries gaming grade engine, which I believe they mean uh, laser. Okay, so that's your laser sensor on the bottom of the mouse. And you've got your usual slippy feet. Those are your non-stick surfaces, which are very durable if my Ikari is anything to go by, which I've had actually for a couple years now. We also got a SteelSeries sticker with it. And last but not least, I did want to say a little bit of something about the settings in the SteelSeries software. So there's a few different things. There's ExactSense, so that is what I talked about before with the exact CPI setting. There's FreeMove, which allows you to adjust motion correction. Personally, I hate motion correction, although some gamers feel differently about it one way or another. I turn this all the way off, and I love having this option where I can turn off angle snapping, I can turn off prediction, and I don't have to deal with that. Exactly where I move the mouse is exactly where I want it to go, folks. I don't want any compensation, and SteelSeries allows me to do that. That's actually pretty much it. Oh, these are kind of neat. Huh, exact acceleration. I've never used this before, but the acceleration works by increasing the CPI as the mouse is moved quickly, and then there's exact aim, which actually reduces the CPI as the mouse is moved slowly, allowing users to focus in on targets. Personally, I prefer a more linear response, but feel free to play around with those settings so you can get the most out of your Sensei. At least they do offer the option. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Sensei. As you guys can probably tell at this point, bit of a Steel Series mouse fanboy, so I'm really looking forward to playing around with this guy. Very excited. So I just want to show you guys the lighting effect on the Sensei, and I've got it on a test bench, which I'm very excited about. Dual GTX 590s, Gigabyte G1 Assassin, 990X Extreme Edition, anyway. So that's the kind of gaming hardware hopefully you can, you can hook your Sensei up to. So there's the SteelSeries logo on the back. There's the indicator up here, and then you can see also the lighting on this, each side of the mouse wheel. So it's not super dark in here, so the lighting effects are quite bright on there. There you have it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips from Unboxings, Reviews, and other computer videos.